Hello everybody, today we're doing another Eagle Moss. This one is issue number 37. A, An a Andorian Battlecruiser Kumari class. So there's the box and all the sides. Right back. Yep. Just pause when we look at anything in depth. Well, the primary motivation to be getting this one was and there's the mat, there's the traditional art book. The primary reason I got this was that there just ain't enough neat alien ships out there to buy people. The alien ships are in fact very surprisingly not that often made. Well, let's go ahead and get the art book out of the way. There I go being careless going with my trash. Okay, here it is. You got a nice view of the cover with the ship. Uh, and during Battle Cruise, written right there. It's class, which is Kamari, launching 2142, length 360 meters, crew of 86 people. Of course, we got Star Trek, the official Starship's collection. Here we go, how to use the stand. Uh, short abbreviations of the pages. Here's the information on the website. You know, here's the, basically what the cover says. Propulsion, you know, the matter, antimatter, reactor as usual. Got a bit careful with using that with everybody. First thing around, it's kind of neat. They use a little miniature black hole. Here's a nice shot, nice art shot of the ship. Some text, some other text. Yeah, I know you're, I know this is all boring stuff if you're not, you know, a hard core tracker fan, Star Trek fan. Here's some, you know, screenshots from the show. There's an Andorian. There's another photo of an Andorian. There it is using cargo bay. There it is with the NX Enterprise. Lord, I didn't know what the heck I was getting. <laughs> I didn't see Enterprise much because I was mostly working, so I get a chance there's some, you know, information where stuff is on the ship. And there's some more photos of Andorian, some more text. There's more photos and text. There's a, I think that's supposed to be the bridge, maybe. I don't know. Or listening to those, I have no idea. Some more stuff on looks like a bit of culture stuff. I'm not actually reading this by the way. I'm looking at it upside down. Here is them designing coming up with the ship. Should have used that one. They should have used that one. Why didn't they use that one? That one. That one, that one, that one. Make that one. Next. You hear me? You hear me, Evil Moss? Make that one. There it is, another shot of the Dorian with the NX Enterprise. Here is uh, talking about uh, Delta Flyer is the uh, Next issue, which I'm probably not going to bother to get since they probably ain't got the whole thing with the little, the little extension thing. And there is the back. Okay, boring stuff out of the way. Let's hope this was better than Defiant, shall we? Now, they said they're getting the container down pretty good. Okay, there it is again. It's usually got the sticker on the bottom. So basically, they expect you, if you are got a guest over, expect you to know what all these ships are. And if you don't know what all these ships are, they expect you to clearly take the ship off, take the stand apart, to lift this up to show them. So, of course, you know, it does help that, you know, when you slide it around or go to pick it up, you'll wear the sticker out. Okay, Eagle Moss. Rethink this. Okay. Okay, now let's look at the ship. There you go, you got your nice little window details. You got, of course, the uh, clear, completely unnecessary light piping blue in between where the warp drive is, where you, where you can barely see it. I don't know, can you see it? I don't know if I'm showing it to you very well. Okay, and then you got your clear light piping uh, plastic there on the back, and then you got your clear red light piping there, and then you got your kind of neat little uh, blue detail in there. Overall, pretty nice looking ship. Okay, let's see how it sits on the stand. Hmm. Okay, let's try it this way. Yep, that's upright. <laughs> okay. So we finally get in the Andorian ship.
Of course, if you're a fan of Star Trek, the Royce and Andorians have been in since the original series. And in the original series, they didn't have any ships because they were full-fledged members of the Federation. Now, of course, if they were full-fledged members of the Federations, and in Star Trek Enterprise, if this was their ships, then this design should have been reflected in the ships of the series. You notice the mistake here. Well, I'm not really going to get into why Enterprise don't matter because you got that whole last episode thing which kind of negated the very value of the series' existence. That'll be for another topic if you're interested in me being my theories, just say so. So as always, comment below or don't comment below. Our Patreon page links will be in the description below. And this series episode 37, Star Trek the Official Starships Collection. Kumari class and Dorian Battle Cruiser. Thank you for watching. As always, as always say, tell at least one friend about this video. Then you'll in a sense double our viewers. Thank you for watching and let's go out on this random page.